Jiminism Total Nerd Channel here, and we will be doing another Star Made tutorial of weapons. We will go through cannon, missiles, damage beam, tractor beams, yeah, changing colors of weapons and all basic weaponry setup and how they work. So first of all, we are in the shop range. We will shop. You can see here, I've made a little, like, tin can of standard armor with, like, capacitators and power reactors and uh, thrusters and yeah just to have as a weapon platform we're going to shop and we're going to buy some weapons and you will see how it looks so go down to ship then weapons we have a can on computer already you can see the computers are very expensive so you all don't buy too much uh, or take like be aware when you're buying that the computers are expensive and we will be buying some missile tubes also eight and we will be buying a damage beam computer and some models for that one too and we want to buy a damage pulse computer and well we can buy quantity let's buy six and some modules for that too and we have a salvage computer and well this is basically, there are lots of stuff here, but these are the basic weapon types that everybody uses. So, first what you want to do is you want to spawn the cannon computer. Let's go into the ship to go into build mode also. And we want to select this block and they will automatically link up the cannons when we spawn them. So let's just spawn two smaller cannons and we're going to flight mode and we're going closer to this asteroid and we, we press T to get up the weapons menu we drag down our computer to the hotbar and by the hotbar we activate it by clicking now you can see we do 10 damage let's go into build mode again and let's let's double the size of the cannons and can you guess how much damage will do 20 and now we are focusing the beams if we right click they are unfocused and they will do more damage but uh, we are not so accurate with them so if you're long distance you might want to use this one if it's a small target it's if a large target it's just right clicking anyways now you might be thinking what would happen if we would orient the cannons in this way instead, like making them long? Well, nothing at all. They will still link together and create the same strong weapon. This is something they change in Star Made and can be confusing for some players, but it doesn't really matter if you have them like this or if you have them long or how you want to make them like we can make them weird in this way also if we would want to and now we have quite decent cannons that was the cannon system and pretty much all the old other systems work the same but we will be going through them to, for simplicity let's spawn the damage beam computer damage beam module. Let's place it like this. That way. Four of them. And we can go into flight mode. And now they're linked up automatically. If we press T, you just drag down all the stuff here. Now we removed our cannon computer, but we can have all the weapons down here, the computers. So let's see, it does 20 damage, like long term, and it's the same thing, if we right click. So let's go into build mood, let's do the same thing with this one, just to show. Now then, you can see, we forgot to select the cannon, therefore they didn't link up. Let's link them up like this, and we go in, and it's 20. Like all the weapons doesn't matter which orientation you have them just the, it's it's 
It's the amount of cannons that you have that will decide the damage done. So we just leave that computer there for now, deselect it by pressing C, and we're going to find our damage pulse computer. Press it there, it's selected. Let's have damage pulse module. Like that. Four blocks in that way. We go in, we press T, and here, damage pulse computer. Drag it down. Now we have our regular damage beam computers there. We can select the damage pulse computer here. We can scroll out, and we can press our right shift button to move around like this. And bam! It creates a shockwave that does damage. Let's be going out and make it this way. And there are more blocks on it now, but the orientation doesn't really matter. So let's fire it again. And you can see, it does more damage basically. So it sends out this damaging shockwave. Let's remove our systems. And I'm going to show you the salvage computer. Spawn the salvage computer. And spawn some salvage beams in any orientation. We can do it this way also. And now we get a more logical beam, but it's the same thing. By this, you can see that we are getting up this stone type. We are just, yeah, like this. And we can right click to have an unfocused beam also, to make it more effective, but less accurate. And if you would want multiple beams, you only have to put them in a manner so they are not connected, like this. And you will have lots of beams, and that can be quite cool. When you press right click, you get them all spread out like this, and you are quite fast of taking up a large amount of, or area of materials. And now we're going to go through the missiles. Let's just remove that. And we are having our missile computer. Place it out. You have it selected, and you just spawn missile tubes. We press six of them in this manner. Like that. Now we already have it down the weapons menu. And let's fire our missiles. Okay, fire. Huge amount of damage. Let's try to do the same thing with these ones. We press them. We put them in a line. Like this. And we fire it up. The same thing. Basically, what matters in this game are the number of weapons you have. So, if they are linked up, it will do a collective damage. For missiles, especially if they aren't seeking a target, it can be quite hard to hit. It is a point with spreading them out like this. And then, you will see, you will get lots of missiles. And, oh, we made a tunnel. Cool. And we fire them again. And you can see they are doing lots of damage, but spread out. The same damage as the other, as they are. Or, now they are more missiles, so they actually do a little more missiles as we spawn more blocks. Anyways, having your weapons colored would be awesome. So, let's just be having our damage beams computer for that one. Remove that one, place out the damage beam, and just make some beams you might want to use. So you just press them, you just place them here. This is a worthless um, placement actually, as we don't have the ability to put armor around them. So then we would need to make a large case around hold this unit to make it effective. We can go into T, put down the weapons and see if they all work. Our missiles and our damage beams. 
Now we want to color this. Now we need to fly a bit closer to the shop. Now we have this shop in range sign. Go into shop and we are going to buy light sources. And just to show what works, we will go and press light general. I want blue missiles and any light source will work, so we just prove this by buying a light rod also. Let's go back to our poor asteroid and we go into build mode. Now we want to have blue missiles, so we spawn this light here, we can place it there, it, it can be quite good to hide them if they would be destroyed. Let's select our missile computer and link it by pressing V to the light. Go into flight mode. Fire the missiles and they're blue. Isn't that cool? So we just selected this one and press V on the light source. Let's do the same thing with the light rod. Here we have a light rod. Let's select the damage beam computer and link it by pressing V to the light rod. Going in. Damage beams. Now they're kind of reddish. Well, that basically concludes the easy weapon tutorial. Well, I hope this have helped you and... Um, well, see you in next video. Please subscribe and like the video if you liked it. Well, Jimmy out. Have a good day.